doesn't matter whether you have a traditional home or a contemporary home, stone such as this flagstone goes with any look. Now here's something totally different. I created my own stone flower. That's right, you heard me. This flower, or the petals, are made from flagstone. I took big pieces of flagstone that are about at least 36 inches long, took a diamond age blade, and I cut them into the shape of a petal. So then you take this stone petal and you bury it slightly into the ground and you put a concrete block underneath it like this, which you don't see because of the plantings, and it holds the petal up. Then I did an odd number of petals and in the center I laid more concrete blocks to help hold the petals as well. Then I piled it and bermed it full tall of good pot and soil. Then you can plant anything you want in the center to create the center of the flower. Here, since I have so much shade, I decided to do tropical plants because they're low maintenance. Plus, I have a sprinkler system so they get plenty of water. I did the tricolor bromeliad on the outer side of the center of the flower, and then I did what's called the zebra plant in the center, which has a yellow plume and great variegation in the leaves. Add the two together, we have lots of color without even hardly any flowers, and it gives you this great look. So now when people pass by, you actually, when you're standing up, look down on it, which even makes it more significant. So do something different, add natural elements, and perhaps a stone flower. You're watching today's home, and I'm Chris H. Olson.